For decades, NATO and U.S. forces have focused on fighting insurgent groups. But what happens when a possible adversary fields modern armies with advanced armor and artillery? When you no longer have air superiority nor any significant technological advantages. Several countries believe modernized artillery delivering massive fires at long ranges could be part of the answer. Russia's BM-21 Grad systems are certainly not the only ones fielded by the former superpower. The BM-21s have an effective range of 20 to 45 kilometers depending on the rockets used. Russia also has access to a large number of other artillery systems. Russia has long emphasized artillery as one of its armed forces most important branches. Historically, this goes back to World War II where its predecessor state, the Soviet Union, established a doctrine where artillery played a dominant part. Way back in 1944, when the ferocity of World War II was at its peak, Joseph Stalin made a statement, artillery is the god of war. His remarks probably related to the fact that most of the combat deaths in the two world wars and in fact, in all the wars ever since the early days of the Industrial Revolution when the artillery got employed in wars were due to artillery. There is an array of the towed and self-propelled SP guns and howitzers like to S19M STA 150mm SP howitzer, range 30 to 40 kilometers with rocket-assisted shell. To S35 Coalitia SVSP Howitzer, range 40 km, to A36 Jotson Toad and SP Howitzer, range 30 to 40 km, the heavy 2S7 Amalka to 103mm SP Howitzer, range 37.5 km range, besides mortars 82mm, 122mm. In late May 2020, the Russian Armed Forces received its first shipment of upgraded Russian artillery systems, the Kolitsia SV. These metal monsters were developed with the express purpose of destroying large, heavily armored enemy weapons far beyond the front line. A system of this sort can fire 10,152 rounds at a target 70 kilometers 43.5 miles away, turning it into a heap of metal including tanks, artillery and mortar and even anti-aircraft systems. This is nothing new for Russia. The massed artillery fire actually relates to Russia's 200-year-old doctrine of using artillery first, 